Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is a how to build a plastic model airplane. It's right, right here. Kind of a fun project. I love doing these. I've been doing them for years. It's you know, buy them in a kit like this. Come in a box, and you put them all together from the various plastic parts. Fun project. In this video. We'll go over that process from start to finish, including putting on the stickers. Now this is a scale model, 148 scale, which means you can't ride in it. Yep, sorry, you can't ride in it. But it is a very accurate representation of the actual airplane. And this is the P-51 Mustang. And um, you'd be surprised at how accurate they get this, right down to the decals and the painting and all of that is really quite nice. And I'll talk a little bit about scale. Like I said, this is 148th scale, which means it's 148th the size of the real airplane. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure shades, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. In the kit, you get all the plastic parts, some clear plastic parts, those are the, the glass and the cockpit, the directions, which includes a little bit about the plane and step-by-step -step on how to build it, and the decals. And all the parts are numbered right on the sprue. The sprue is that excess plastic that holds it all together. And you cut the parts off the sprue by the directions it takes you through the numbers, one at a time, one piece. Glue this piece to that piece, and it's really kind of easy. And then you glue the pieces together using a special model cement. And this stuff is special because what it does, it actually melts the plastic. It does like a, some kind of chemical reaction that melts the plastic. So you get a good bond between parts. And you apply a little bit, and you can use a toothpick, you can use the tube, you can use a paintbrush. Um, and you can buy uh, model cement with special applicator tips that are very thin, so you can actually just apply it with a special applicator tip, which is really nice. But there you go. That's the seat, and this is what you usually do is you build subassemblies. And this is the cockpit subassembly, all the little pieces that go inside the cockpit. And at some points, you would have to paint the parts first before the model is done. Like, for instance, you, it's very difficult to get a paintbrush into the cockpit once it's built, so you paint those parts first, and then you mount it into the fuselage like this. See? So that's a pretty standard thing. You build all these little sub-assemblies, and then you kind of um, glue those sub-assemblies together to make the complete thing. And another thing that people like to do is you can also do a lot of the painting while it is still on the sprue. That makes it easy to handle and hold. So you can see I've put the machine gun in there in the wing section, and now I'm gluing the other half of the wing on by applying a little bit of glue around the edge. And we'll zip through this at uh, double speed. And there's actually little tabs on that, so the they two halves go together exactly perfectly right. And there you go. So now the wing subassembly is done. Looks good. And now we would put that together with the fuselage subassembly. See, I've got a lot of this done. This is a nice little kit. It's a skill level two, so it's kind of easy to do. If you're new to a, a plastic model making, you might want to shoot for a skill level one or two. But there you go, it's looking like an airplane now. So we finish up the details with some of the various parts. And that's it, it's building it. It's just about done. You get the idea of how to build something like this. So then you would do the final painting. And uh, you know, I just used plain old silver, but they actually make every color you can imagine specifically for military models. You know, you can get aircraft silver and uh, you know, uh, olive drab and all that and then and uh, and then do the detail painting, and the d directions show you exactly what to paint where if you want it to be authentic and look like the real airplane. 
Now let's apply the decals. And this is kind of interesting because it's a little bit different from what you normally think of if you've never done a model like this. You cut the decals out of the sheet and pop them in water for 10 or 15 seconds. And then you take it out and you slide that decal right off the backing paper onto the model, just like that. And it's got like an adhesive on it so it'll stick. You just remove any excess water with a cotton swab and you're done. So that's it. We've built a plastic airplane model. Looks good. I've applied the decals. I had a lot of fun. Not sure how long it took me, a couple hours. You make one too. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch. I had a lot of fun with the green screening of this at the beginning of the video, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of that. I built a, a nice little rotating background, and there I'm shooting the video with the airplane in the foreground. So to put myself in the picture, you need two. One of all that background stuff, and then one of me like this with green screen, <laughs> so I can pop that in. So you put the two together in the right orientation with me, right at the right spot. And then you remove out the green. And there you go. I am riding in an airplane. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button.